okay this video will help you with your lab on graph matching when you launch your motion sensor and you, you load the graph analysis 4.0 app from the Chrome store onto your Chromebook select the uh, data sensor collection it'll hopefully detect your sensor if it's plugged in right uh, plug it into the USB port and it may take a minute to search, collect, go motions detected, and you will hear uh, some ticking noise from the sonar. The default setting has two graphs. The top graph is position on the Y versus time on the X, and velocity versus time. These are the standard graphs we're going to use. If you just press the collect button, you'll hear some inf ticking noises from the sensor. If you move an object towards the sensor and away from the sensor, it'll detect the position from the sensor over a default setting of five seconds here. If you want to look at that graph, just instead of having two graphs, one graph in the top right corner, select one graph. Kind of gives you a larger image of what was happening over five seconds. And then press collect and try another set of data. Move an object towards the uh, sensor and away from the sensor moving towards, pause, moving away, pause, moving towards, and you can see when the slope is positive versus negative versus zero, what's happening. Uh, play around with different views, uh, looking at it with one graph, two graphs, or three graphs. You can even select the option uh, for the data table to view that. Uh, the meter option is great because it just detects the distance from the motion sensor. So just move an object away from it. It's moving away further and further, then move it towards. Position is getting closer to zero. And you can select graph and table finally, where you get the position time graph with the data table of position and time, your, your x and y coordinates. But for the lab today, um, after you start playing around with uh, graph, the graphs of your motion, your walking motion to and from the sensor, you're going to apply in the bottom left corner an option called Add Graph Match. Select Add Graph Match and then choose Position. It's a position time graph. And you have to try to walk this graph. So at time zero you start at a certain distance away, then you move at a downward slope, then you change directions, move at an upward slope, then move back at a downward slope. What does that mean? And if you collect some data uh, you will try to walk to and fro or to towards and away the motion from the uh, motion center to see if you can uh, record a similar shape graph. Slope is going down. Slope is going up. Slope is going down. And that was a pretty poor job. So start all over. Once you get a good graph uh, in the top left corner export the image, graph image, and copy it into your lab document. I'll ask you to copy images only that look like close approximations of the uh, graph match graph, and then share those with me. Let multiple members try it. Once you're satisfied, move on to a new graph match by selecting add graph match position. You get a new shape and repeat. 